I have been painting for longer than I can remember. I don't know when or how I got started, but I know why I kept going. Even from a young age, there was a stress relieving aspect to painting. Before I knew anything about self-care, I was drawn to the peace and clarity that came from taking a blank canvas in a room by myself and creating something. I often turn to painting when I have the emotions, but not the words for what I'm feeling. Pablo Picasso said, painting is just another way of keeping a diary. I agree with that. Painting can silence the loudest words of the mind as well. The most outspoken, stubborn, Prevailing thoughts that can take over the conscious can disappear when meeting a painting. Maybe a painting is the diary where the wordless story lives. And maybe the piece that follows is a silent nod to that story being told. Psychology has a theory for this piece that happens while creating. In the book Flow, The Psychology of Happiness, the author writes, When not preoccupied with ourselves, we actually have a chance to expand the concept of who we are. Loss of self-consciousness can lead to self-transcendence, to a feeling that the boundaries of our being have been pushed forward. This concept of flow suggests that maybe one of the greatest forms of self-care is actually taking the attention off of ourselves long enough to be a part of something bigger. What puts you in a state of flow? Where do you lose yourself in the process? If you have ever wanted to paint, but have stopped yourself from trying, I leave you with the words of Vincent Van Gogh. If you hear a voice within you, say you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced.